Oh, I love it. So oh, that is fantastic. So we're in the middle of E's stream right now, y'all. And um, it, everybody say hi. Hello. Hello. And we uh, we were flying over here for something, and I see this on the billboard. Not only is it more off center, this this happened. I have a mustache now, and there there's Enderman heads on my pupils. You have Enderman heads. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Landed oh, that is to the incredible. other side. Uh, there's not the other side. Please tell me. <laughs> oh goodness. It's not as bad, but it has been tagged. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, look at look at how uneven this is on the stand. <laughs> the stand. Oh, oh, I have an idea to mess with it again. We're not gonna do it right now, though. Oh man. You're sure Jump. it's 320? Jump. That's build height. It, it would not it's let me put another one. It can go. Can't go any higher. Okay. What could possibly just, just... go wrong? <laughs> Ready? Three. Do it. Two. Do it. Do it. Wait. Is she Wait. is she walk is she going the right direction? Three. Two. We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> Three. Do you get, do you get the achievement even if you splash? She's going. She's going the wrong direction. She's coming down. To I see her. I see her. I see her. I see her. Please, 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 oh. please, please, please. No, darn it! <laughs> I checked. I checked, guys. I checked. I promise. <laughs> All right, we're doing it again. I'm doing it again. All right, I'm going. All right, okay. Here you, go. you got it. Oh, you might want to back up a little bit. Crud, 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 crud. Oh, <laughs> oh here she goes. Okay. Here she goes. I love it. She here she got goes. It. She did so she's got it. She did it. She did it. She did it. Hey. Yay. Hey. Okay, well, now I'm going to glide down there, and I'm going to grab that water. And I've got a water bucket clutch this. <gasps> nice. Oh, my gosh. You're crazy. I'm doing it. <laughs> Are <laughs> you really? It. Oh, you got this, Oda. You got this. He did yeah. it! He did it! Oh. Heck yeah! Oh, yes. Nice! Nice! Woo. GG! Now. This is totally gonna be on the first try, right? Right There's on. No, totally. no mess ups, no nothing. No, you got this. I have confidence in you, Lane. I, totally got this. Okay, well, well, I'm going for it. Do it. Oh gosh, oh gosh. This is extremely nerve wracking. Come on, come Ooh. on, come on! Oh! Oh, no. No. no! No! I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. He's I'm going. going. He's going. Oh! Oh! oh. oh you clipped the side. <laughs> okay, I'm back up here. All right. Okay. All right. Attempt number two. Yep, yep. No, no, this is the first try. I don't know what you're talking about. First oh, yeah. try. <laughs> yeah. Lane. Yeah, there we go. You didn't even see anybody go before you. I mean, this is really. Exactly. From he doesn't even know where the right. hole is. No, nope, right. he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, it looks oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Nah. Oh, no. Not again. No. Dang it. Here I go. Ooh, uh oh, oh, okay. oh. Here she, here, she comes, comes. here she comes. Here she comes. You got this. Oh, Dang it. oh. no. <laughs> but I feel like a winner that I actually got down. To uh, well, you did. Yeah, <laughs> Progress. Totally. Yeah. I got that going for me. Okay. Oh. Okay. First try, Lane. First try. <laughs> First try. We're going to do this. I'm putting water buckets in whoever's cyan shulker box that is. Oh, that is, that is Izzy. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I did it! Yeah! Yes! yes. yes. Woohoo! Heck yeah, I'm pretty sure I just clipped my mic really hard there, but whatever. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, you need, uh, I need to throw you wings and yep. rockets. Yep, you can grab did them you, out of mine. Um, did you spam? Oh, I did. I spam clicked click? the heck okay. out of the button. Okay. What is going on, you guys? My name is Lane, and welcome back to another episode here on the Craftworks SMP. So you could probably tell by the intro of this video that we had some pretty chaotic things go on in between episodes. And well, that's uh, yeah, that, that pretty much sums up this server in a nutshell to be completely honest with you. But we're finally back here at the mega base where I need to make some progress. So you can see, I still have not decorated any inch of this room whatsoever. But I did go ahead and I started moving in a bunch of the other blocks. I haven't moved my entire inventory over just yet, but I am about to start working on that soon. 
but I did go ahead and start kind of setting up filters for everything. So in last episode, I showed how we've got all of the wood types going down here. We've got all the stone types and it stopped right here at the tough. Well, and now I have kind of uh, progressed all the way around to there, leaving a little bit of empty space because I'm not sure what to put in there just yet. But I've got some of the sand put in. I've got all of the terracotta types put in. I've got all of the, uh, the concrete put in. I've got the wools. I've got the glasses. I've got pretty much everything in here, uh, all the way down to occupation blocks and like necessities like uh, crafting tables, anvils, stuff like that. And then these right here are... Uh, well, they are still available because I don't know what to put in those spots. There is a zombie somewhere. Where is this thing at? Okay, might be... I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll find it eventually. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got all the lighting sources in one. I've got all of the storage stuff in one and so on. It goes from the quartz all the way down to diamonds and whatnot. Not that I keep my diamonds in here. Anyway, all of that is in my inner chest. But yeah, so I've spent a lot of time doing this over the last couple days and honestly, it's taken quite a while, but I have been down here looking at this room with the intentions on getting it decorated. And I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I do have an idea for it, if that makes any sense. I, um, I have a theme picked out, but I don't really have any idea how I'm going to pull it off, which I guess is what I was trying to say. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started on this and see what I can figure out for it. And, uh... Yeah, I will cut back to you guys here in a little bit, or if something interesting happens. Okay, so I must admit that when I said I was just going to start the room, that's all it was going to be, was just starting the room. I wasn't intending on finishing it. Not yet, anyway. And then I started placing one block after another, I fell into a rhythm, and next thing I know, the room is done. So here's what we've got. Out here, I've got this red archway leading in, using the, uh, the red terracotta and the mangrove, which are both blocks that I don't use very often to begin with. And this is to match the theme of the room on the inside as well, which is extremely red. I mean, I've got everything in here from these red shulker boxes to the red concrete to the black uh, glazed terracotta, which is just as red as it is black. The red regular terracotta, all the mangrove stuff, and yeah, just so much. Even, even nether wart. Nether wart. I've never used that in a build before. I am so happy with how this build has turned out. This room houses a lot of firsts for me as well, with these red shulker boxes here that's outlining the room. I've never decorated with uh, shulker boxes before, and I'm actually happy that I took the time to do that because this is so cool. And I mean, when you're as rich on shulker boxes as I am, anything can happen, I guess, you know? So we've got that put in here. I kind of uh, hid the whole uh, shulker box unloading system right here. I got it kind of... Uh, leaning in to the, the design a little bit and I'm really really happy with it the chest still open you can see that I've got a bunch of shulkers in here from where I've already ran it and then back here behind the room is where we've got all of this stuff housed for the actual redstone part of the farm which I do want to go in there and decorate that back room area at some point we'll eventually get to that point I'm not really too worried about it right now um, but back to the first, I've got the shulker boxes here and the black glazed terracotta, which I have literally never used before. And I am so happy with how this has turned out. This is so, so good. I've even got it up there outlining the, uh, the ceiling as well. And here in the center, I have got this fancy looking L or what I tried to uh, make into an L. I did get a little bit of help getting this uh, put in here or at least the design for it. And uh, I might go in here and texture this with some of the uh, the stripped mangrove logs. I just have not gotten around to that yet. And even if I don't, it's not that big of a deal because that's not really the focal point of this build anyway. I also hid all of the storage containers here, as you can see. And I moved all of the, uh, the labels from being down here up into a glowing item frame up there. So not only does that help with lighting, that also helps keep the blocks off the floor, which in my opinion is not the best looking design in the world, but I get it, it's lag free. This might cause some lag issues, I'm hoping not. But yeah, so there's that. I've got a bunch of lighting underneath the chest going all the way around the room to add to the lighting because the lighting was a very, very big pain in this room. And as you can see, I had to go overboard with the frog lights to get it to look the way I wanted it to. 
And the, uh, the ceiling is also deep slate, but it's tied into the red nether warp, the mangrove, the deep slate, the black glazed terracotta, which then goes right into the room. So it all meshes together like it should. Up here, the only thing that's a little different is the fact that I used the skulk. And the skulk, I think, really ties in the deep slate with everything else that's going on. And the little tinge of green in there is also incredibly nice. I really, really like how that looks. It's really more black than it is uh, green and stuff like that. So this really just kind of complements the rest of the room. And I absolutely love it. Then over here, I have got the water canals, which I don't really know what purpose they serve, but they are here. And I am absolutely loving how they look. The, the blue here is a very nice contrast that, well, it contrasts, but it also kind of complements all the red and the black that's going on here in the room as well. All of this is 100% functional, and I couldn't be happier with how the room turned out. The only thing that I did have to change in terms of the redstone was the redstone lamp up here. So when we first made this room, we only had the one lamp, the one here that's uh, on the same row as the ones that are indicators above the chests. But because of the height of this wall, I figured we should add in one more up here just to kind of make it look a little bit more even. And I had to figure out how to wire that up because that whole area is a little scrunched up. But I made it work and it all works flawlessly. I am so, so happy with it. I went ahead and I moved in pretty much all of the other shulker monsters and chests that I had scattered throughout the world mainly the bartering farm and outside the tree here. I've got all of them moved in. I've got it all sorted. And yeah, that's basically what I've been doing over the last couple of days. I've got these other uh, nine chests over here against this corner that still have got nothing uh, in it to be categorized. I don't know what to put in it. I do think I need to probably put in some of the ancient city stuff like the, uh, the skulk and stuff like that, but I'll get to that. I think that'll fill up maybe one spot and then the other eight, I have no idea. We'll eventually get around to that, but yeah, I am extremely, extremely thrilled with how this room has turned out. I cannot get over this. I also want to show you guys how it looks with shaders on, so give me just a second. Okay, and with shaders, it looks something like this. So I'm going to show you the shaders. It, ignore the frame drops. Uh, my computer does not handle this very well, but yeah, from back here, you get a very, very nice lighting effect going on in this room. It's kind of dim, but it has enough light that it just, it adds to it. And this room looks absolutely menacing, absolutely menacing. And it just, I, I cannot get over this. Look at this, man. Look at this. I am so happy with this. This has got to be one of my favorite interior design things I have ever done, ever. And while this isn't like a typical interior, this is definitely the best storage room that I have ever decorated and I could not be happier with it. But now that I'm done with this, I need to kind of move on to what else I need to be doing in today's episode and I'm going to level with you. I don't know what that is, so we're about to find out. All right, so I am back over at spawn where I've remembered that we actually have an order here at the redstone shop. So if I remember correctly, Archon Kai put in an order back over here, and I think he wants some redstone door at his pyramid. Let's see. Hi, I would like to have a nice door for the entrance of my pyramid. Thinking a two by one split retracting pistons. Let me know if that is a thing, Archon. Yep, that is definitely a thing. I actually did kind of chat with him right before uh, recording this to get an idea of exactly what he is looking for over there. So now I uh, I just need to get my redstone box and I need to fly on over to his pyramid. All right, so this is Archon's pyramid, pretty much right beside spawn. And uh, yeah, this is where the redstone needs to be done, pretty much right here in this very doorway. So looking at it, it looks like I actually have enough room to do what I need to without really disrupting any of the environment here. There might be be one thing uh, that I need to adjust and that'll be the stairway that he has leading up there because I don't know that I can pressure plate on top of a slab like this. Um, either way, I don't think if I could, the redstone signal would reach there. It, it's a whole thing. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, but that's not gonna be too difficult. I can figure something out for that. And in the meantime, I should be good to go ahead and start getting things together here. There's enough room back here where there's really not any issues. I should have more than enough room to get all of this stuff put in. 
and this is actually a fairly simple redstone job, so it shouldn't take me very long to do. Alright, so I have finished his custom redstone order, and it works like it should. There's not really much to tell about it. Uh, basically, these pressure plates here is where he'll walk in. He can hit any one of these, and it will open the doors like it's supposed to. And basically, when you look down here, there's a redstone dust that is lined up perfectly underneath them which powers on when you step on the pressure plate. It turns off a redstone torch up here, which turns off the block right there beside the piston, and it depowers the piston there. And basically, I mirrored that over here on the other side, just one block lower, and I added in this area here, so you can do it from the inside as well, so you can get out. And basically, this just connects up to that same exact redstone circuit over here, just to make life a little bit easier. Typically, I would just wrap this around and just kind of connect them in to uh, the redstone torches, but I didn't really see a need to because of how close quarters all of this was. So this was pretty simple. You can go in and you can go out. Well, let me, let me go back. Here we go, close, and you can go out. There we go. Simple enough, right? And there's already been a payment delivered, so I'm good on that, and I think I'm pretty much done over here. So I just left Archon's base and started flying around spawn for a minute because, well, it's spawn and this place is entirely too beautiful to, well, not pass around. And as I was flying over here, I noticed that my billboard has been changed yet again. I originally only built this with one leg that was somewhat in the center and it's been moved over like three blocks. And now it has a second leg after getting a mustache and having a CW put up there. And on the opposite side, there is actually an E over here. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I think the server just hates me because I'm beautiful. And I think that's gonna be it for today's episode, folks. What we accomplished was basically this here storage room, which again, looks absolutely stunning. It looks menacing and I just, I cannot get over this. You guys really only had to see like two scenes with this storage room where I basically had to spend three days IRL down here decorating this thing, so I am glad that it's done so I can shift my time and focus to working on one of the other various rooms around the base. I've got like 10 other rooms that needs doing, plus one area here behind the portal that needs doing, and we will eventually get to all of that. But anyway, I think that just about does it. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to show your support by liking the video, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And be sure to check the video description to find the link to the Craftworks fan Discord server where you guys can join, interact with us, get to know us a little bit better, and you can be a part of the ever-changing Craftworks community. My name is Lane, and I will catch you guys in the next one.